Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, we're back out here going again, cutting beans. Dad just brought the semi up and parked it. Getting the field opened up. In fact, uh, no, can't really see him over there. Neighbors out with their internationals rolling over there on that side of the road. This corner here, the beans weren't exactly all that great because, um, oh, there was a, um, a gas pipeline. Uh, Kinder Morgan put a gas pipeline going through here, then it goes up here so far, then cuts back under the road. And so, um, you can kind of tell the area where they work the ground around, but um, not too awful bad. So, I'll get dumped here and we'll be, get back going again. saw me unload there. Got the semi and the tandem sitting up well, back behind me on the north end of the field. Got the grain cart sitting down here on the south end. Sure enough, the guy that was helping us run the grain cart, he had a doctor's appointment today, so he's out and gone. Hopefully he'll be back either tomorrow and or Wednesday. Wait and see. But like I say, we can't unload on the go, but um, even just uh, having the cart to be able to come down here and pick us up, like either if you're in the middle of the field or at the opposite end of where the trucks are, makes a big difference. And so that's why we put the cart right over there. That way, um, I, at least uh, if I get down here on the south end and I see I cannot make it back to the north end, I can um, at least dump my hopper anyways. That works out too. And hopefully, uh, that machine shop will be getting the auger on the R52 up and going. Wait and see on that. But uh, today is October 7th, if I remember right. And so, yeah, we're making headway on it. Just dumped my hopper into the grain cart. I'm gonna run over there and get that thing and bring it on across the end. So far, beans don't seem to be too awful bad, though. Got plenty of green stems, but the bean itself is dry. Yeah, you can see a little bit of green stuff right there. <laughs> Almost looks like when you run the hay conditioner through the hay field. Like I said, yeah, you got patches of green stuff and other areas, areas where the stem's dry. Like I say, though, generally for the most part, um, from what I'm seeing, uh, the pods and the beans are all good and dry. It's just the green stem and also even areas you got the green leaf hanging on, hanging on to it. So we'll get this cart moved on over here, right? Makes it a little bit more easier and convenient to dump into. I had Dad sit down here when he brought it up. because at that time I did not have the south end all off and that kind of stuff. So he just sit it right here and I told him I can move it once I get the thing open, get the field opened up. Yeah, I'll sit it right here for the time being. And if I need to move it again, I can. But that should work pretty good. 
good. So far, it's, it's working out good just keeping the cart here on the south end. That way, it gives me something to dump into if I get down here. Shut the AC off. And we'll get the combine rolling again. Alrighty, back here in the combine. I just heard from my brother, he's getting ready to hit up this way, so he'll run the combine, I'll run the cart, and then uh, when that semi down there gets full, uh, Dad will jump in that and run that down to ADM at Logansport to dump it. And so, I'm going to, um, I'll try and get maybe some outside GoPro video, and um, if I'm on the end row um, with the grain cart, naturally I brought along the drone <laughs> so I can try and get a little more drone footage hope y'all like that too I'm not exactly sure how some of those guys do it uh, I know farmhand Mike um, on the farmhand Mike uh, YouTube channel uh, he somehow does uh, I don't know what they call it, like the audio part He'll add in the audio from, uh, well, like from my GoPro, for example. He'll take the he'll take the outside audio from that and put that onto the drone video because uh, a drone is not recording audio. And so, um, evidently, I guess with uh, I guess doing it either on a desktop or a laptop computer, you can you got a lot more options. I got to do all my editing on my iPhone, so. You don't have quite the options, at least I don't anyway. But um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the drone footage. Okay, well I just jumped in the cart. My brother's rolling with the combine. Let's go head on down there and we'll get this cart unloaded in the semi. Hey, this is a different perspective. Not too often do I run the cart. It's usually um, our one landlord that helps us. He runs the cart quite a bit. So, this will give you a different perspective. Just pulled up here the semi. Get the PTO kicked in. Alright, open up the gate. And there we go. Uh, EB generation trailer you can take and um, fill it right up the top all the way down across there and that works for weight wise that works out right about perfect uh, he just got up here to the end row of the combine so he's dumping in the cart also and I'm dumping in the, in the truck Windows a little dusty. coming up here the end row it's actually working out about perfect a round and a half you got a hopper full and so this pass will end him up down here on the south end dump make a round and a half end up on the north end dump so that works out about perfect so I'm gonna try and attempt if I can get it get it set up and going uh, grab some get my drone up and I can grab a video of um, pulling it beside the combine and emptying out
Okay, he's coming back up for the combine. I see Dad coming over there, over there with the tandem. And looks like one more hopper full of, oh, partner for the semi. So I'm going to call this in the video. So take care. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.